In this one staff demonstration, we can see the power of the workflow process inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. So here's my main window to edit and create workflow in Microsoft CRM one step. So you can see here I'm looking at the assignment creation and follow up and what happens is this workflow actually fires whenever a new assignment is created. So this is using the same type of workflow you could have another workflow that fires whenever a new candidate is created to make sure that candidate's followed up with promptly. Also you can uh, do this when a record status changes. So let's say an employee employee's status changes to terminated. Maybe you want to have a termination process to find out the reasons and make sure that workflow is followed. Uh, you can also do this for example when fields on a record change. So if somebody changes a pay rate on a job you want a workflow to fire or when a record is deleted you can fire a workflow. You can also in the system really tightly control who's who is or not who is not allowed to uh, actually delete things as well. So um, we looked at how some of this is done before so when I create an email you're able to use wildcard fields to uh, create these. So you can see here that uh, I can say who it's from, uh, who the email is going to and I could use different fields from the assignment, from the job position, from the from the customer to create these emails. So what I'm going to do here is actually create a new step in the workflow. So I've got a step here to create a phone call for the customer. I also want to create a step to create a phone call for the um, associate as well. So I want the recruiter to call the associate. I want to insert a new step and let's say I want to insert it after the step and I want to add step to create a record and the record I want to create is a phone call and I just say I want to create a phone call and I can set the properties of this. Now I'm going to give you an example of setting a couple of these fields. The sender on this email it's quite easy you just go to here and you say, okay, I want the uh, I want this to actually come from the recruiter. So if I go to the um, associate, so what we call it the candidate in the system, I want the uh, this to be coming from the owner of that field. Just click OK here, so I can see the sender of this email is going to be the recruiter for that particular associate, and I want the recipient to actually be the associate as well. So I can uh, here just select that I want it to be the associate, so I can add that in. Click OK. So I've just added a few more fields here. I've set the subject here to call the person's name, uh, to check in with their new job at the customer name. Uh, you can set that it's also regarding this assignment. Uh, the owner, again, is the recruiter of this person, and the uh, due date is seven days after the start date of the assignment. So the system is very flexible in how it lets you do before and after you know, so many days, so many months from a particular date. So I'll just save and close this and now this is added as a new step. It's also important to note that this workflow can be tailored to work for a specific uh, division or department. So your IT workflow might be different than your healthcare workflow, which might be different than your general labor workflow. So you can definitely tailor this to work for different areas of your company in different ways. All I need to do from here is activate this workflow. And now as new assignments are created in the system, it's going to work through the new steps that I've actually uh, created in this process. Learn more about OneStaff or request a demo at www.profad.com/staffing.